All right, what's good guys? Today we are back on Gym Tycoon because like I told you guys yesterday, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. And for the most part, I read every single one of your comments and every single one of you seem to have said that you really enjoy the game and you think it is really interesting. So for that reason, I figured in today's video, we would go over how to unlock the two kind of like secret badges that are in the game. If we head on over here to the front page, you guys will notice that while one of them, there is quite a decent amount of people that have it being the what's that that smell one it's kind of the more obvious one but i mean to be fair only about 20.4 percent of people have this so i'm going to be showing you how to get this as well as the hot one which only 2.9 percent of people have been able to get this which is kind of interesting to me i mean for the most part the badges are not really all that difficult to get but still you'd be surprised there is people out there that love collecting the badges in every single one of the games so this video is going to be for you guys and then after we're done getting those badges i'll go ahead and update you guys on my progress which this is my gym in the background right now we're going to talk a little bit about layouts and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and get started on this because i've actually not been able to get these badges yet due to the fact that i've been waiting all day to record this video so to start things off before when this game was initially in beta and had released the only real way to get the smell badge was if you were basically in the starting tiers of your actual gym or of course if another person joined into your server that was in the lower tiers there was a porta potty that was right behind their gym and you would have to go up to it and interact with that in order to get your hands on it but ever since then it has been fixed and there is porta potties in the middle of the map so all you have to do is just simply walk up to these you'll get a nice little prompt that says what's that smell hold down the e and you should automatically go ahead and get your hands on that batch if you notice bottom right hand side it just went ahead and popped up for me so we've completed that nice little uh farting animation comes out of there and now we can go ahead and move on to the hot badge which again very straightforward if you guys notice outside of the map there is a giant volcano well it's not really giant it's the size of a regular volcano hey look i never noticed there's a little map here oh, this is pretty cool dude it's like a map of the whole entire map that's i didn't think that one through before saying it anyways we have to go ahead and make our way over to the volcano don't worry you can walk on the water so it's not really all that complicated but at the same time it is going to be a little bit of a walk i love how there's casually just coconuts floating here like they're supposed to be a little more shifted to the right but they just didn't quite cut it anyways while we're making our way over there i will go ahead and update you guys a little bit here so as you can tell from the top left hand side i am currently level 13 so my gym is kind of like this roman i guess like palace or something i'm not 100 sure and i'm currently sitting at 227 thousand dollars per minute with a total of 10.4 million in cash so i think it's pretty safe to say that we're making some decent progress i have found out now that the max level is level 20 so that's going to be my goal to try and get as close as i can to 20 and then i'll bring you guys a video of me maybe rolling over to level 20 and then we'll really get started on looking into all of the layouts and stuff like that even though like i said i am gonna break something down to you guys which may be uh good news to some of you and a little upsetting to the rest of you but anyways let's get back on track here to get the hot badge just go ahead and climb up the volcano right here and once you've made your way to the very top it's extremely straightforward you'll go ahead and get a prompt to interact with the volcano and this is probably the coolest part right here because as soon as you interact with it the volcano will be erupting it looks super sick but right there bottom right hand side we went ahead and got the badge uh the volcano did unfortunately just take me out so we're respawning back at our gym but just like that you've gone ahead and now completed both of the badges so you can cross those off your list if that is something that you are interested in doing so now let's go ahead and get into some of the sweet stuff so if you guys notice i do have two registers at my gym now i believe that this started at roughly around level 11 maybe level 12 is when you get your first second register on top of that i do have two janitors which that was at roughly around level 9 or 10 if i'm not mistaken for the most part i have a lot of room in here everything is kind of on the outer edges that's really a my bad on my part really i should be stacking everything up here in the front but i've just been playing this a little bit different than i usually play all of the other games that are in this genre and i've just been kind of having a good time which now leads me into the entire topic of layout 
shoutouts, which I did see a couple of you mentioning that in my video yesterday. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really think that there's going to be layouts in this game. It's just done a, a completely different way than any of the other ones that we've played. But at the same time, there is correct and wrong things that you can do. Like for instance, the fact that I still have yoga mats at level 13 is a big no, no. You should definitely not be doing that because I have customers obviously coming in that are only going to be giving me a total of $850. And to be honest, the yoga mats at level seven are completely maxed out and they cannot go any higher than that. So that's just wasted space that I should probably go ahead and upgrade to, I don't know, leg presses or maybe some of these like monkey bars. Regardless, right now, the end goal is to be able to get our hands on some of those gymnast bars as well as the boxing ring. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's somebody in our server right now that is level 20. I think it's this. So let's make our way over there so I can show you guys something really, really cool, which happens to be the actual kind of, I guess you could say this is a dojo. But yeah, shout out to uh, Soccer Orange 100 because he is what I believe is level 20. I could be wrong. Somebody let me know in the comments if you've actually made it already to max level. But if you notice, he does have a total of three registers here in the front. If we make our way inside, it's a nice, huge open format, and he does have a lot of boxing rings inside of here. He's obviously doing this the right way, man. He doesn't have really any yoga mats that I can see anywhere. He's gotten rid of a lot of the starter stuff, except for maybe the treadmills. I probably would have gotten rid of those by now if I was in his position. He also has the obelisk statue, which I kind of want to go ahead and make a video of me purchasing both the obelisk statue as well as the bulk brogan statue, just to kind of compare them and give you guys a general idea of which one is more worth it. So if that's something that you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. But yeah, man, this is kind of the end goal right here. It looks really cool. Buff Betty. What? Oh, Buff Betty is the person that actually spawns inside of the ring and destroys all the customers that are coming in. That's kind of funny, dude. But anyways, let's uh, show you guys another one of these gym upgrades because over here, it looks like somebody does have the mansion. This was probably one of the first gyms that I had seen when I joined the game before I actually started playing and stuff. And I thought this was super sick and really what kind of steered me into playing the game even more because I wanted to get to this point. But now that I've seen the dojo, I want to get to that point. But man, look at this. This is so sick. Three registers here in the front as well. If you make your way inside, they have quite a lot going on in here. Super, super cool. They also have the obelisk statue, which honestly, it's kind of something that I'm seeing repeated a lot. It looks like more people are leaning towards the obelisk instead of the bulk broken statue. That's really interesting. I wonder if it's because the price difference is a lot. $4.99 and the obelisk is $2.99. I mean, it's not really like what a 200 Robux difference. It just kind of seems like a smarter idea to have a bulk of the brokens come in in a rush every 30 minutes than it is to just get one bulk broken every 15 minutes because well i would imagine that it's more than two of them that you would be getting in the span of 30 minutes over here uh -huh. i'm not 100 sure which one is uh the better option there it all really depends on how many bulk brokens actually spawn into your gym with the golden statue but anyways man that is basically all i wanted to go ahead and show you guys in today's video i am making progress in the game and i'm going to be making my way over to the very end so that way i can update you guys on all of the cool stuff that's going on not 100 sure yet on how often they update the game i know that they went ahead and included two new gyms i believe a day or two ago so if anything there's more than likely not going to be another update for a week or so that's obviously assuming that they update this game weekly but no worries once we go ahead and hit max level here we're going to go ahead and kind of grind out some other new games that i have for you guys to show you here on the channel and then we'll be back to this as soon as the updates go ahead and push out because man I'm telling you, this game is awesome. I told people over in my Discord that honestly, I would go as far as to say that this is probably a little bit better than my restaurant. I know that's a really risky thing to say because, well, I absolutely loved my restaurant and it played such a huge role here on my channel and the growth that we had all basically last year. But man, this game just has so much going on and it's seriously so cool. Hopefully the devs go ahead and in the future add some more of those secret badges, make them maybe a little bit harder because I really enjoy that. But yeah, if this video went ahead and helped you guys out, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more content. That's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.